In the world of martial arts movies, there's an impressive lineup of stars who have left their mark, and while names like Bruce Lee, Jet Li, Michelle Yeoh, Jackie Chan, Donnie Yen, and Jean-Claude Van Damme had become legendary, there's a whole crew of martial artists from the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s who've carved out their own niche. Fast forward to the 21st century and you'll find notable martial arts stars like Scott Adkins, Michael Jai White, and Marcus Zerrer, who've made it big largely thanks to straight-to-video and streaming releases. However, let's not forget their predecessors in the B-movies. These underground heavy hitters may have worked in low-budget films for the more specialized audience, but they created a lot of steer in the martial arts community through some of the finest martial arts movies of their era. So in this video, we will explore the 11 forgotten and underrated greatest martial arts skilled B-movie stars that deserve more attention than they received. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you, and let's begin. I consider myself an athlete, not a fighter. Mm -hmm. uh, a fighter is a brawler. Don the Dragon Wilson Donald Joe Wilson, born in Cocoa Beach, Florida, had an American father and a Japanese mother. Growing up on Florida's Space Coast, he joined the United States Marine Corps on his 18th birthday and was stationed at Cary Point in Havelock, North Carolina, for two years. During his time in Okinawa, he studied Shorin Ryu Karate under Eizu Shimambukuro Chinsaku Kinjo, John Korab, and Seiyu Uyata, earning his black belt in just seven months. He later served in Korea and crossed paths with Anthony Graziano, after a stint at Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune, North Carolina, he left active duty. Back in the USA, he trained in Pai Lum Tao Kung Fu under Master Ryu, who gave him the nickname The White Dragon due to his mixed ancestry. Later, he shortened it to The Dragon to make it catchier for his fans as he ventured into professional fighting. Feeling a shift in his career goals, Don delved into acting and used some of his wealth to produce independent projects. He enlisted the help of his friend David Carradine to find promoters for his films. These projects included Future Kick, Blood Fist, Ring of Fire 1, 2, and 3, Black Belt, Redemption, Say Anything, Out for Blood, Operation Cobra, Cyber Tracker 1 and 2, Sci-Fi Fighters, Capital Conspiracy, and a role in Batman Forever as the leader of the Neon Gang. Don had a brief marriage with actress Barbara Lay, but their divorce cost him half of his wealth, leading to the slowdown of his film production. However, he continued acting in both films and on TV, where he reconnected with makeup artist Kathleen Carradine, who eventually became his second wife. Jeff Speakman Jeff Speakman hails from Chicago, Illinois, where he made a name for himself as an all-American springboard diver during his high school days. The guy even sets records in his school's district and conference, all without the guidance of a coach. Determined to get a college education, he put in six hard years of work and graduated with honors from Missouri State College, snagging a bachelor's degree in psychology with a minor in biology. In the martial arts world, Jeff is known to be one of the greatest of those who worked in movies. He has a six-degree black belt in Japanese Goju Ryu and another six-degree black belt in American Kenpo Karate. He's not just a fighter, he's the founder and big shot of American Kenpo Karate Systems a global network with over 50 schools. In 1993, the Black Belt Hall of Fame welcomed him as Instructor of the Year. As for his silver screen gig, you might know him from action films like American Shaolin, No Retreat, No Surrender 2, Raging Thunder, and Under Siege 2, Dark Territory. While Jeff Speakman might not be a household name or a blockbuster superstar, he's contributed a lot to the martial arts community. He's a skilled martial artist, and his movies helped spread the love for martial arts to a broader crowd. Besides his screen time, he's penned a few books on martial arts and shared his knowledge by teaching martial arts classes. Cynthia Rothrock Cynthia Rothrock, the real deal in martial arts, isn't just your average action star. She's a powerhouse from 1981 to 1985. She ruled the martial arts world as the undefeated world champion in forms and weapons. Her goal was to stay unbeaten for five years and she aced it with over 100 competitions to her name. In the weapons competition, she made history by being the first and only woman to claim the top spot in North America. Furthermore, she has five black belts and a grand master rank, but she 
she didn't stop there. After achieving her undefeated goal, she made a leap into the world of martial arts acting. She began her acting career in Hong Kong with her first movie, Yes Madam, starring alongside Michelle Yeoh. That one smashed box office records and turned her into a megastar in Hong Kong. After a three-year stint in Hong Kong completing seven films, she returned to the USA and kept her acting career going. She's now got over 60 movies under her belt and more projects in the pipeline. Cynthia Rothrock isn't just a force on the screen, she's been a role model for women in martial arts and film. Back in 1983, she made history by becoming the first woman to grace the cover of Karate Illustrated. She's an honored member of the Black Belt Hall of Fame, rubbing shoulders with legends like Bruce Lee and Chuck Norris. In 2016, she pulled off another first by becoming the first martial artist, regardless of gender, to be inducted into the prestigious International Sports Hall of Fame, with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Dr. Robert Gold doing the honors. While most actors leave the stunts to the pros, Rothrock is a cut above, doing her own jaw-dropping feats. Philip Ree Philip Ree, a true martial arts maestro, has made his mark as an actor and filmmaker. He is best known for co-creating the best of the best film series alongside his mentor Peter E. Strauss, who once served as the chairman of Lionsgate, and Canadian billionaire Frank Giustra, the brains behind Lionsgate. The franchise kicked off with Best of the Best, featuring people like James Earl Jones, Sally Kirkland, Eric Roberts, Louis Fletcher, and Chris Penn. Best of the Best 2 rolled with 20th Century Fox, while Best of the Best 3, directed by Ree and starring Gina Gerson, landed under Miramax's wing from Sony Pictures. Notable kudos came Ree's way too. In 2015, chief editor John Campy of AMC Movie Review declared Best of the Best as his all-time favorite film. Fandango also picked it as one of the 15 most inspirational sports movies of all time in 2015, alongside the likes of Rocky. In 2010, Ray teamed up with former president of Warner Brothers Jim Miller to launch Stereo Pictures, a 3D conversion technology studio based in LA and Korea. They served major Hollywood studios and tech giants like Samsung, LG, and game developers like Blizzard. But don't let his Hollywood success overshadow his martial arts chops. Philip Ray is a 7th degree black belt in Taekwondo, with 3rd degree belts in Hapkido and Kendo. He's not just a big shot on screen, he's also one of the most sought after martial arts instructors globally. Some of his notable students include the son of President Ronald Reagan, the chairman of Werner Chappelle, the former chairman of Fox, and a bunch of sports and film celebs. Gary Daniels Gary Edward Daniels, born on May 9, 1963, is a man of many talents. He's an English actor and a retired pro and amateur kickboxer with an impressive 33 knockout victories. In his heyday, he held the title of World Light Heavyweight Kickboxing Champion, and he's made a name for himself in action-packed martial arts B-films. His big break came when he played Kenshiro in the live-action version of Fist of the North Star. We have made an origin story video on Kenshiro, you may want to check that out. Fans of martial arts films might also remember him for his roles in Jackie Chan's City Hunter and as Brian Fury in a 2010 live-action adaptation of the popular video game Tekken. From 1995, when he played Kenshiro until 2001, Gary Daniels was in a slew of action martial arts and science fiction films including titles like Rage, No Tomorrow, Recoil, Spoiler, Heat Seeker, Cold Harvest, Delta Force One, The Lost Patrol, etc. Starting in 2004, Daniels shifted to more supporting roles. He played Ed Parker in the Bruce Lee biographical miniseries The Legend of Bruce Lee and portrayed Brian Fury in the 2009 live-action Tekken film and its 2014 prequel. He also appeared in The Expendables as Lawrence the Brit Sparks. You can spot him in La Linea alongside Ray Liotta and Andy Garcia and across the line The Exodus of Charlie Wright with Aidan Quinn and Andy Garcia once again. Billy Blanks Billy Blanks is another powerhouse in the world of sports, acting, and media, and the mastermind behind the wildly popular Taibo fitness craze, all thanks to his extensive martial arts expertise. Born in Erie, Pennsylvania in 1955, Blanks had extremely humble beginnings as one of 15 siblings and battled dyslexia and tendon issues. Yet, none of that deterred him. He dove into martial arts training at the tender age of 14, eventually earning black belts in Taekwondo and several other martial arts forms. Billy Blanks made his debut on the silver screen in the mid-1980s, taking on tough guy roles that perfectly complemented his athletic background and steely demeanor. 
You might recall him from films like Tango and Cash, Driving Force, and AWOL, Absent Without Leave. Things started looking up in 1991 when he landed the role of drug-addicted running back Billy Cole in the action-packed The Last Boy Scout. In the late 1990s, Billy Blanks released his revolutionary Taibo workout routine which sparked a fitness phenomenon. It catapulted him to international stardom as one of the most recognized and top-selling fitness trainers worldwide. Apart from his fitness empire, Billy Blanks has a remarkable martial arts record. He holds a 7th degree black belt and has one of the most impressive karate fight records in the sports history. He's a 7-time world karate champion, the first ever amateur athletic union champ in 1975, the 1984 Massachusetts Golden Gloves boxing champion, and the Tri-State Golden Gloves champion of champions. Keith Cook Keith Cook is a martial arts instructor and actor with a 5th degree black belt and 5-time world martial arts grand champion title. He has been named competitor of the year 3 times and recognized as one of the top 100 most influential martial artists of the last century by Black Belt Magazine. Born in Seattle, Washington to a Japanese-American father and an American mother, his early life involved learning self-defense to combat bullying. He got into Kung Fu at the age of 12, trained in various martial arts including Taekwondo and even explored boxing during his university years. In 1985, Keith headed to Los Angeles where he honed his martial arts skills alongside legendary experts and pursued acting. His acting career began with a Gatorade commercial and took off with roles in action films. In 1990, he starred in China O'Brien and in 1991, he showed his skills in The King of the Kickboxers. Keith's martial arts also landed him a role in Mortal Kombat in 1995 where he played Reptile. He returned for the sequel Mortal Kombat Annihilation in 1987, this time as Sub-Zero, so that was quite an upgrade. His journey is a testament to his excellence in martial arts and acting. Richard Norton Richard Norton is from the suburbs of Sydney, Australia and was born in 1950. His martial arts journey began early with judo at the age of 11 and later Goju Ryu Karate which got him his black belt by the age of 17. In 1970, he took on the role of chief instructor at Bob Jones Melbourne Dojo which eventually evolved into Zen Do Kai. Norton is renowned for his appearances in Hong Kong action films like The Magic Crystal, Twinkle Twinkle Lucky Stars, City Hunter which was a live action adaptation of the manga of the same name, and Mr. Nice Guy. In 1993, Norton took on the role of fight coordinator on the TV series Walker, Texas Ranger. He also made appearances in several episodes and played the role of Frank Scanlon in The Avengers Angel. Norton's career includes encounters with renowned martial arts action stars like Jackie Chan, Samu Hung, Yasuaki Karata, Benny the Jet Orquines, Don the Dragon Wilson, and Cynthia Rothrock. His climatic fights with Chuck Norris in the 1980 film The Octagon was ranked number 13 in Fighting Stars magazine's list of the 25 greatest fight scenes of all time. Norton continued to contribute to the industry by serving as the fight coordinator on the 2007 film The Condemned and starred in a contemporary drama Under the Red Moon. His influence in martial arts cinema was celebrated at the Berlin Movie Con in 2010, where he joined other martial arts stars including Cynthia Rothrock, Don the Dragon Wilson, and Conan Lee for a two-day show in Germany's Universal Hall. Olivier Grutter Olivier Grutter, born in Paris on August 2, 1960, hails from a family of professionals. His father and one of his brothers chose careers in surgery while another sibling pursued engineering. However, Grutter took a different path. At the age of 18, he decided to join the Marine Nationale, specifically opting for the Elite Commando Marine Unit, the French Navy's Special Operations Forces. During his military service, which mostly took place in Djibouti and Somalia, he received rigorous training that encompassed skills like scuba diving, skydiving, and climbing. Notably, he had already a foundation in karate at this point. Upon leaving the Marine Nationale in 1981, Grunner went to the French Alps, a region he selected not only for kickboxing training, but also because of his passion for skiing. After three years of dedicated effort, he achieved the title of French kickboxing champion. He successfully defended this title twice and then went on to secure the World Middleweight Kickboxing Championship in 1986. During his job at the Cannes Film Festival, he put up a poster featuring himself. This led to a remarkable opportunity for him. Within two days, he was invited for test shoots in Los Angeles, which essentially marked the beginning of his acting career. His debut film, Angel Town, was released in 1990. Grunner decided to retire from kickboxing in 1987, shifting his focus to a career in acting, modeling, and eventually directing. 
He went on to star in various martial arts and action films, leaving his mark on the industry. Lauren Avedon Lauren began his acting journey at a young age, featuring as the milk mustache kid in various carnation milk commercials since the age of five. He even earned his SAG card for his role as a Pepsi Slice Black Belt in their advertising campaign. Although he continued to make appearances in numerous commercials and achieved success as a model, his true calling was in the world of film. Lauren diligently honed his acting skills through the Stanislavski Meisner technique, mastering various aspects of the craft such as cold reading, scene study, characterization, emotional memory, inner monologue, personalization, and substitution. His focus was specifically on acting for the medium of film and television. At a Los Angeles karate school, producer Roy Horan was on the hunt for an actor to replace Jean-Claude Van Damme and take the lead in the film No Retreat, No Surrender 2. The role demanded a young, tall actor who could act and had world-class martial arts skills. Lauren, with his looks, charm, and exceptional martial arts abilities, caught Horan's attention and earned himself an addition. The role required an all-American boy with a blend of Bruce Lee and Rambo, and Lauren triumphed over more than 75 other auditioning actors. Within a week, he was assigned to a three-picture deal with seasonal films. Variety magazine described Lauren as the blue-eyed, blonde-haired Bruce Lee. The martial arts community acknowledged the brilliance of the fight scenes in The King of the Kickboxers, where Lauren spent four months playing an undercover cop alongside Billy Blanks. Michael Dudikoff Michael Dudikoff, the tough guy known for his rugged roles, may surprise some with his background. Born in Redondo Beach in 1954 to a Russian father, Dudikoff, though not fluent, possesses some Russian language skills taught by his father. Before making a name for himself in action films, he raised his eyebrows for his child psychology studies. In 1978, his journey to stardom began when he landed a supporting role in the immensely popular TV drama Dallas. Dudikoff's early career also saw him make appearances in Happy Days and Give Me a Break. His feature film debut came in 1980 with a black marble. Later, he secured minor roles in films like Tron and Uncommon Valor, where he honed his action skills. In 1984, he had a wild time in Bachelor Party before achieving his breakthrough role in the 1985 martial arts action film American Ninja. The role was initially intended for Chuck Norris, but Dudikoff made it his own, gaining a global following among action enthusiasts. The subsequent sequels cemented his status as an action hero, and as the years rolled on, Dudikoff took on roles in low-budget action films such as Platoon Leader, directed by Chuck Norris's brother Aaron, and Midnight Ride. Despite his 1993 series Cobra only lasting one season, Dudikoff maintained a prolific pace. Often starring in two films per year well into the new millennium, in the late 90s, he teamed up with B-movie director Fred Olin Ray for a series of small-scale action movies. Marvelous Verdict There's an undeniable thrill in watching people go head-to-head, -head, especially when they do it with style. It's a big part of why mixed martial arts has gained such popularity in recent times. The same primal excitement extends to martial arts movies, whether it's kung fu, karate, kickboxing, muay thai, or jiu-jitsu. You can bet there's a skilled practitioner out there who has showcased their talents on the big screen. What unites them all is their hard-earned expertise, a natural talent for acting, and their contributions to some of the finest martial arts films ever created. If you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone.